good morning. My name is Krzysztof Skipa and I work for Embedded Solutions and today I want to present uh, how we utilize Scilab and Xcos for real-time and measurement applications with our uh, hardware platform. So, so uh, at the beginning uh, I want to uh, say something about uh, MicroDuck device and uh, software. Uh, next uh, I will present MicroDuck toolbox for Scilab uh, features, uh, how code generation works for DSP core, uh, additional tools and at the end uh, of this part I will show some examples uh, with uh, MicroDuck toolbox for Scylla. And at, at the end there will be time for, for questions. So MicroDuck device is a real-time control measurement system uh, it has dedicated DSP uh, core for signal and real-time processing, so user can uh, execute uh, application on, on dedicated uh, core. Uh, device has uh, Ethernet and Wi-Fi connectivity op op options. USB uh, also can be used and is configured as a mass storage, so user can uh, connect device with U USB cable and uh, get access to files uh, from uh, flash memory. Uh, as a multi-function uh, DAC uh, acquisition DAC system, uh, MicroDAC has uh, analog inputs, analog outputs, digital I.O., uh, PW, and M's, and so on. Uh, we have different uh, types of uh, microduct devices. Uh, the basic version is E1000 series. More advanced, it's E2000 series. And depending on the uh, on the uh, configuration, uh, we can have uh, CPU uh, up to uh, 456 megahertz, uh, up to uh, 32 gigabytes of flash memory, Ethernet, as I mentioned before, and Wi-Fi for connectivity, digital I.O. lines, uh, device, as support for MATLAB Simulink, it is uh, embedded. It has uh, support for embedded code ta code targets. Sorry, uh, for lab view and finally uh, for CLAB. And uh, more details about uh, uh, MicroDuck device. It it has uh, four independent processing units. The main are DSP core and ARM core. Uh, DSP is uh, Texas Instruments 66,000 DSP with uh, floating and fixed, fixed point. Uh, and as I mentioned before, it is dedicated for, for uh, signal processing. Uh, we'll also have ARM core uh, which with Linux operating system and ARM is taking care of uh, communication, mass storage and web interface. In addition, to extend uh, device flexibility, we have two PRU cores which can be used for uh, uh, implementing uh, additional peripherals. There is no C compiler for, for PRU. We have only, uh, we can only write assembly uh, code, so we have uh, a nanosecond accuracy, so we can implement, for example, PDWMs, uh, encoder inputs, and so on. 
as I mentioned, the uh, device has up to 32 gigabytes of uh, memory. Uh, me this memory can be used for uh, storage data. Uh, I will show later uh, Xcos blocks which writes data to, to this memory. Um, depending on the uh, configuration, we have uh, different analog inputs and outputs available. So, uh, microbag tools, toolbox features. The, the, the most important part of the most important feature of this toolbox is automatic code generation for DSP core. So we are uh, we have ability to to create Xcos <coughs> diagram and generate uh, in code for DSP. Uh, There are also Xcos blocks for microduck peripherals. Uh, the next feature is really interesting because uh, we have ability to um, use standard uh, Xcos sync blocks to view live data from the DSP core uh, with uh, Ethernet or, or Wi-Fi connection. So uh, next. Toolbox allows uh, automatically uh, after code generation, uh, the generated application is automatically low, is load on the target to, with Ethernet or Wi Fi. We don't need external tools to flash the device. Uh, toolbox also supports uh, standalone mode. Uh, which is uh, useful when we have uh, proven uh, application uh, and we can uh, store this application as a standalone on the device. Uh, toolbox also <coughs> features easy uh, integration of customs, uh, custom user C code. Uh, there are uh, macros for accessing uh, microduck hardware. Uh, for example, we can access uh, analog inputs with with uh, standard uh, syllab macros. Uh, we can utilize gener generated DSP application uh, with uh, Scilab script, C++ application, and LabVIEW. I will show uh, examples. Uh, toolbox also features execution profiling, so we can measure ex execution time of the DSP. Uh, uh, toolbox is, is available from uh, Atoms and uh, supports for uh, and is supported on uh, Linux and uh, Windows operating system. So, uh, we also Windows user uh, can create real-time applications. So, uh, Microduck Toolbox components. Uh, in order to, to generate DSP application, we have to have compiler. So, uh, Microduck Toolbox integrates uh, Texas Instruments uh, Code Composer Studio tools, which is uh, uh, available for free with uh, uh, XDS 100 emulator license and uh, with the Code Composer uh, Studio installation, we have C6000 compiler uh, and SysBIOS real-time operating system. And we utilize uh, this uh, real-time operating systems system in 
Microduct Toolbox. Next we have uh, Mlink library which is which is uh, used for loading di DSP binary after code generation and also we use Mlink library for TCP data communication with the target. Uh, next we have a DSP lib uh, and here we have uh, DSP drivers for MicroDAC uh, for for example uh, analog inputs and also uh, we have uh, TCP data communication. And the last part, uh, last component of the uh, MicroDAC toolbox for SILAP is uh, uh, our SILAP libs. So part of the uh, SILAP was compiled for the DSP. Uh, and all these components uh, creates a MicroDAC toolbox. So installation, uh, as I mentioned, before uh, we can use Atom system to uh, integrate uh, to install to toolbox. Just uh, we can select instrumentation control and MicroDAC toolbox. We have to install Code Composer Studio 5 with uh, C6000 compiler and SysBIOS uh, real time operating system. And after uh, MicroDAC toolbox installation, uh, we need to run MicroDAC setup script, which is uh, this wizard mm, uh, will configure uh, toolbox to work with uh, with MicroDAC device. So. Uh, this wizard will uh, compile SysBIOS uh, real-time operating system and it will create object uh, and then this object will be linked uh, with uh, code objects uh, created from the code generation from XCOS scheme. Uh, we can uh, set uh, IP address, my product IP address, and we uh, from the SILAP console we can uh, uh, check connection. And uh, if we get OK, we are ready to, to work with my product toolbox for SILAP. Uh, my product toolbox provides uh, blocks for ha uh, my product hardware access. So we have uh, analog input blocks. Uh, here we have a um, uh, window for uh, analog inputs. Uh, this, this block, ADC block, supports different types of uh, ADC converters. So we have one block and one block supports all my product configurations. Uh, we have uh, analog inputs, uh, uh, digital uh, digital I/O uh, blocks. Uh, we have uh, encoder function, keylet, uh, memory, memory access functions, PRU uh, access functions. So uh, with the uh, PRU access blocks. Sorry. With these blocks, we can uh, change. Uh, we can use PRU core, additional PRU cores, to execute uh, mm, code. We have PWMs. Uh, we have special blocks uh, like setup and stop and signal and. Uh, almost all blocks can work, can be used for uh, simulation mode. So we can put these blocks into uh, XCOS scheme and, and 
just run a simulation and these blocks can also be used for code generation. So the same scheme we can use uh, for, for uh, simulation and for code generation. As I mentioned, uh, there are three special, special blocks uh, which are uh, setup block and with setup block we can set up uh, simulation duration so the generated code uh, will um, uh, end uh, after uh, duration uh, provided in a setup block so we can select build type uh, if we want to uh, create uh, release or uh, debug for example we can create debug uh, uh, we can compile our Xcos scheme for, uh, with debug option and the binary file we can use this by uh, generated binary file and uh, debug with code composer studio uh, we can uh, Select build mode. This is ext. It's something similar to uh, MATLAB external mode, uh, or we can select standalone mode. Also, we can set up in this block. We can set up uh, uh, execution profiling and solver type. And the next block uh, is signal block. Uh, it is very. Uh, very useful block because it allows uh, receive live data, live data from the DSP application and stop stop block uh, which terminates uh, DSP application execution. Mm, so the Xcos diagram for for code generation has to has to contain a setup block which uh, um, holds the uh, code generation parameters. Uh, even generator for uh, set, set step time. Uh, this uh, microduct toolbox uh, create, generates uh, application with periodic uh, uh, ESR function. So uh, with uh, event generator we set the period of the, uh, this function and a uh, diagram has to um, has a super block which contains uh, blocks from super block will be uh, code will be generated uh, in order to generate generate code from this example scheme uh, uh, we we simply uh, select tools and my product build and load model so after after that uh, DSP application will be created from the uh, scheme so uh, we will generate uh, this application will will generate sine wave and this sun Sun, sine wave, sorry, will be generated at the analog output. Uh, and the same uh, Xcos diagram can be uh, used for standalone to generate standalone application in and to generate uh, X mode uh, application. Uh, so standalone standalone application is really simple. So we have only uh, real time task which executes uh, a model, uh, while uh, ext mode um, it's more complicated. We have a DSP ap application with two tasks. One is real time task, uh, and it. it executes model code and we have idle task 
which is taking care of uh, TCP communication. And so this way we can uh, uh, we can have access to to data from the DSP application. So uh, TCP communication is done between. Uh, this DSP application and mlink library and um, as I mentioned before we use standard uh, syncs uh, Xcos blocks to visualize data uh, code generation this 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 slide presents how how uh, uh, how uh, Microduck toolbox generate generates code for for DSP. So at the beginning we have a Xcos diagram with setup block uh, and uh, at this point at this point we we uh, generate a standalone or X mode application depending on the setup block. Next, uh, we generate code from a super block, then, is, then make file is generated. Uh, finally, we have uh, mm, compilation. So C6000 DSP compiler is, is executed. And mm, at this stage, at this stage, uh, where linker linker is called, we we link uh, uh, objects from uh, model Xcos diagram com compilation, uh, SysBIOS, real time operating system, which was compiled uh, during installation. We uh, link DSP lib, uh, which contains device drivers for, uh, for example, analog inputs. Then we link uh, code for with uh, microduck blocks. Next, uh, we link uh, CLAT libs compiled for DSP core, and finally we use. Uh, we link uh, user block libs and resulting application uh, can be uh, load on the DSP, automatically load uh, the DSP. This is uh, output from the code generation process. So. Uh, We, uh, we generate code, uh, then make file, we call uh, compiler, C6000 DSP compiler from uh, uh, Code Composer Studio installation. And after that we have uh, linker is called and we have uh, application, uh, binary application ready to load on target. Uh, on this slide, I, I want to show how uh, we run in parallel uh, DSP application on the target and a simu simulation in Xcos. Because in order to, to view live data, we, the, this execution has to be par parallel. So mm, at the beginning, we have uh, Xcos diagram. Then we generate code and binary file is loaded on the target. So it's loaded on the DSP processor and uh, DSP application uh, creates TCP server uh, and waits for connection. So uh, we, are, we are waiting for connection and uh, then user uh, with standard uh, start button 
uh, X equals start button uh, connects to my product device and also start Xcos simulation. So on the DSP side, we create connection with host and start to execute. Start to execute model and se uh, send data with signal block. So on the DSP side, signal block block works puts sends data to host while on the Xcos side or Xcos simulation side signal blocks block receives data from TCP queue and this way we have parallel execution of D DSP software on target and uh, simulation in Xcos Let's see how, how it uh, works in more detail. So here we have a generated uh, DSP code. And mm, uh, we have a sign block, signal block, and standard sync, uh, Cisco block. And uh, generated code gen uh, calls uh, MDAC Sinus block, then uh, MDAC signal block. Actually, MDAC signal mm, uh, function uh, sends put data puts data to to idle task communication. So mm, idle task is uh, taking care of sending uh, data to 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 the host. So. Uh, and then we have a uh, Cisco, uh, which is uh, an empty function. So on the DSP, uh, it, it does nothing. On the other side, we have Xcos simulation. And when DSP application is load on target, uh, input of the signal block is ignored. So, uh, signal block receives data from the DSP, from this call, and at the output of uh, signal block, we have data from the DSP. So, in the simulation, we can use standard Cisco, Cisco block to uh, view the live data from the DSP running in parallel with Xcos simulation. And here we have an mm, example with DC motor controller. Uh, standard diagram which contains uh, setup. Uh, sample time is uh, one millisecond. Uh, we have discrete PD controller. Um, DC motor is uh, is driven by H, H bridge, uh, and we have uh, standard Cisco block and uh, two workspace uh, standard block from the SIM library, uh, and this way we can we can view the live data from uh, from uh, experiment from the DSP, which is driving a DC motor. The next feature uh, of is uh, execution profiling. So uh, we can, with this feature, we can easily measure the execution time of DSP uh, generated model. So in tools, we have uh, microduct execution profile. Uh, we set up, uh, mm, we enable uh, execution profiling in setup block and then we simply uh, run the uh, model and after we stop uh, model execution on the DSP 
we we can uh, select execution profile microduct execution profile and visualize uh, uh, execution model execution times time in uh, microseconds uh, here we have uh, the previous example dc dc motor controller example you know, with with uh, without uh, optimization and with optimization uh, also uh, we have uh, macros for uh, get getting data um, we can uh, download the profiling uh, data to to uh, standard uh, as a standard variable uh, syllab variable with uh, MDAC exec profile so after we stop, uh, stop uh, DSP execution we call M MDAC exec profile and we have um, uh, data in syllab or we can simply uh, uh, visualize data execution profile data with uh, exec profile data show uh, macro. Mm, uh, integrating uh, custom user C code is, is uh, really useful because uh, there are parts of the uh, Xcos diagram which can be uh, optimized for example uh, so when we run uh, execution profiling we know for example that uh, this uh, the whole model needs to be optimized so we can uh, create custom code uh, DSP optimized code uh, to execute this part of the XCOS uh, diagram so uh, for for a new user creating a custom block is a tough task so uh, we provide uh, syllab macros to generate uh, custom blocks and also custom uh, and uh, C code and here we have an example how to use uh, this function, this macro, macros. So uh, we uh, cre we call mdac block function, and this call returns a structure with which describes uh, our uh, our block. So we have the name of the block uh, description. Uh, parameters name, uh, parameters size, uh, and parameters uh, uh, default values, and we have uh, in and out, which describes uh, number of input block input ports and size of uh, uh, inputs block, and uh, simply calling mdac block add. Uh, with uh, uh, my block, which is returned by uh, calling mdac block, we generate a uh, custom block and we generate C code, which uh, can be simply uh, uh, you will have uh, uh, comments where user, where user uh, needs to place uh, code to execute. So it is it is very simple to to uh, create a custom code with with this functionality. Uh, okay. <laughs> So hardware access functions, as I mentioned before, uh, there are uh, functions which allows uh, access, microduct access from the 
a standard uh, uh, syllab macros. IP management, we have functions for IP, uh, for changing IP. Uh, so in this way we can uh, switch from Ethernet connection to Wi-Fi connection by simply changing the IP address. Uh, and few words about utilizing model. So we have generated uh, model, uh, we have generated DSP binary file from uh, Xcos model. So for example, here we have uh, two sine waves uh, uh, and uh, these waves are uh, passed to the analog outputs uh, and we uh, use analog inputs to, to read the data from analog outputs. So it is uh, analog loop example uh, and signal block. And we can utilize generated application with syllab script. So we, can, we have macros for loading DSP uh, with binary file. Then we register signal this one, and we simply uh, read uh, number of uh, samples from the DSP, and we calculate FFT uh, and plot the data uh, in the loop. And after we are done with the loop, uh, we stop the DSP execution, and we have uh, live data on the uh, on the plot. Uh, also, we can utilize generated DSP application with the C, C++ application. And finally, we can uh, use the uh, uh, generated DSP application with LabVIEW. So, uh, here's an example uh, similar to previous one. Uh, we have analog loop, so we uh, generate uh, some uh, signal at the analog outputs, we connect to the analog input and we can create a LabVIEW application which allows uh, uh, we have access to DSP data and also we can change the parameters of the uh, DSP application running uh, in the real time with uh, memory block. So, in uh, conclusions, uh, MicroDuck toolbox for syllabs allows code generation for, uh, for Xcos diagram. It provides real-time processing, uh, execution profiling, the generated application can be utilized with a LabVIEW, uh, a syllab script, and C++ application. Uh, there are different hardware options available. Toolbox is easy to use and it is free. And it can be an alternative for commercial solutions. So I don't know if we have the time. Thank you.